In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make split monograms in Cricut Design Space. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Now, you can make split monograms using any font you want or even any image. So let's jump on the computer and get started. So today I'm going to make two monograms. We'll do one using a letter and one using a shape. So let's pick our letter first. So we're going to go over to text on the left hand side and I'm going to type in the letter S. Now you can do any font you want. It doesn't matter what you choose. So I'm going to change my font and let's do a font called Sea Garden. And then we're just going to stretch this however big you want it to be. And let's also go and choose an image. So go over to the left hand side and select images. I'm going to search for a duck today. And I'm going to filter it out by pressing free on the side. And I'm going to select this first duck here and press add to canvas on the bottom right hand corner. And there's our little duck. So we're going to make split monograms out of both these images. So to do that, we're going to grab a shape. So go over to the shapes on the left hand side and select the square. Now we want to unlock our square. So the bottom left hand corner of the square, you're going to click the lock and then you're going to stretch out your square, however big, fat or wide that you want it and line it up with the S. Now I'm going to change the colors here so we can see them a little better. So let's make this S, let's make it blue and let's make our box black. And I'm just going to resize this just a little here until I'm happy with the size. And that looks pretty good. It would look really nice with a name going through this S. Now, before I do anything, I'm just going to duplicate my box. So at the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on duplicate and just move that duplication down to the bottom. Now you can place your box wherever you want on your image, but if you do want it centered, you're going to select both your images. So I'm going to select the S and my box here. So I'm going to go to the top and press align and then I'm going to center my images together. Now with an S, this looks great centered. If you picked another letter, depending on what that letter is, you may want to offset your box a little bit. You might want to move it up higher or down lower, whatever you think looks aesthetically pleasing to you. Now we still have both our S and our black box here selected. So I'm going to go down to the bottom right corner of my screen and I'm going to press slice. Now the slice button is kind of like a cookie cutter. So we're going to have a few layers here. So we have this piece that we just sliced out and this is our S that we want to keep. And then we're going to have two more layers here. So these extra layers, we don't need them anymore. So you can go ahead and delete those. Just click on them and press delete. Now I still have this box here and I'm going to unlock this box as well. So the bottom left hand corner, click the unlocks button and this is way too fat for what I need. So I'm going to go up to the top and we're going to change the height of this to 0.1. And now we got this nice skinny line and then I'm going to duplicate this line. So up to the top right corner and click on duplicate. Now I'm going to arrange my two lines on my S to approximately where I want them to be. So I'm just lining up my line with the top piece of the design here. And then I'm going to select all three of my layers here. So I got the S and my two lines and I'm going to go back up to the top and press align. And then I'm going to center these horizontally. And now everything's exactly where I want it to be. Now, if I were to go and press make it right now, my Cricut machine would cut out my S separately from the lines, but we want this to cut out as one image. So select the S and our two lines, and then we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on weld. Now those three layers just became one layer and our machine will cut out our image just like this. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to our little duck here. So I'm going to grab a square from the shapes, unlock my square and resize it. And then I'm going to select both my duck and my square and we are going to align these and going to center them. My duck looks really funny if I'm splitting my monogram like right at the top here. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. So I'm just going to click on my image. I'm using my arrow keys here and I'm just nudging this down until I'm happy with where it is. You can also use your mouse to bring it down, whatever works better for you. 
So this placement looks pretty good, but I just wanna double check to make sure it's still centered. So I'm going to go up to align and center horizontally. Now, before I slice my images, I'm just going to duplicate my rectangle here. So top right corner, duplicate and bring that down. And now I'm going to select my duck and my rectangle and I'm going to slice those at the bottom right hand corner. And we're going to keep our duck and we can get rid of all our sliced layers. Now, once again, we're going to unlock this rectangle and we're going to resize the height up at the top to 0.1. And then I'm going to duplicate that rectangle. And then you can go ahead and align your lines on the duck and then we're going to select all three of those layers, go to align at the top, and we're going to center horizontally. And then we can go ahead and press weld. Now my duck is gray right here. I think ducks should be a different color than gray. So let's actually make this duck blue and let's add some text to our monograms now. So go over to the left hand column and click on text. And let's do a name for our S. Let's do the name Sharon. And I'm still using the same font. I'm using Sea Garden, but you can change up the font, do whatever you want. So once you've typed in your text, you can just place it where you want. You might want to stretch it out to be a little bigger. Depending on the size of the name, you're going to have to do some adjustment. And then you can change the color of that as well. So if you wanted to, you can have your S cut out in black vinyl and then Sharon cut out in purple vinyl. But if you want to cut it out all as one image, you could do that as well. You can change Sharon to the same color as our S so we can make them both black and we can select both our images. And just to make sure this is centered again, let's align this once more. So align, center horizontally. And if you want to cut this out together, you can just go over to the bottom right hand corner and attach those images together. You don't need to press weld. If you did press weld, you would not be able to make any changes later on. Since our letters are not touching our S design, we don't need to weld it together. So you're not going to have those extra cut lines in between. So you can just go ahead and attach. So if you want to use the same monogram again for another name, you could go back into your design and you can click on your image, then you can select detach in the bottom right hand corner. And then you could go back into your text and you can change the name the next time you open up your design. So let's add some text to our little duck as well. I'm just going to type out baby boy. And then once again, you can place your text on the little duck here. It looks really small. So I'm just going to stretch that out, make it a little bigger and put that right in the middle and then select both our images, align at the top, center, and then we can attach these together and have them cut out as one image. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like button and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.